Hi boys and girls. We've been doing so many animal pictures lately. I thought it would be fun to change it up a little and create a landscape. So I'm going to be showing you how to make this landscape using some texture, using some depth, creating those beautiful shadows. Normally this would be a beautiful project to do using oil pastels, but because I know many of you don't have it at home, I'm going to be doing it in colored pencil. All right, now when I start, I'm gonna to start to draw the details in Sharpie. You guys, as always, should be starting with a pencil and eraser. So let's get started. Okay, so at the bottom of our paper, we want to create a ground line. And to do that, the very bottom, I'm just gonna create a curve. That's gonna be that grassy line that we saw in the picture. Next, we want to do the trunks of the palm trees. We can't go all the way up because we need room. But near the center of the paper, you're gonna make one line go up. And then as you get to the bottom, it's just a little bit thicker. Palm trees aren't quite as thick as other trees. And then equidistant in the center, going this way, I'm gonna make another trunk that curves upward there. Again, just slightly thicker at the bottom. All right, going up the trunk, you can add some curved lines. On this side too, opposite way. All right, I wanna add some coconuts at the top of the tray. So three on this one, one, two, three circles on this one. Now we gotta work on those palm leaves. The easiest way to do this, and to keep it pretty simple, is to do a curved line with kind of like zigzaggy pointed shapes at the bottom. So again, same thing here. Curved line. Maybe kind of like the top of an umbrella shape. I'm gonna do one here. This one I can't quite fit on the paper, but that's fine. We'll have it cropped off. Same thing with this one now. Now when my curves go in the opposite direction, the bumps are gonna go the opposite way too. Curve there. Bump. And one more. Curve down. All right, that's a nice simplified version of our palm tree. Same thing on this side. Curve down. If it's easier, you can start with a curve there. Start with a curve here. And then bumps in one, one, two. Okay, a few more. Get those palm leaves. Oops, I made that one a little thin, that's okay. Now they don't have to be perfect because obviously no two trees are alike and that's fine. All right, so, oh, maybe I'm gonna put one more in here. I feel like this one's kinda thin. There we go. All right, good. So we have our main shapes of our palm trees. Next, we wanna make the background. So to do this, I'm gonna make a straight line. This is our horizon line. The horizon line is where the sun rises and sets. And we're gonna have the sun a very light shape, a circle. Now, if you guys do this in pencil, it'll come out nicer, coming there. But I don't wanna cover up those palm leaves because it's behind it. And then I'm just gonna do these kind of bumpy shapes for the hills at the side. You can make them symmetrical. You can make them different. Again, this is a lot easier if you do it in pencil where you can fix it. All right, good. And that's our basic drawing. Now we want to start with our shading. So when you do the shading on the palm trees, they're both gonna be dark on the same side and light on the same side. So if I decide to shade this side darker, I'm gonna do this side dark. Notice how I'm just using little lines it's a nice way to do that. Same thing over here. 
you guys are looking for a really nice kind of colored pencils, I love using Prismacolors. I actually got some for our classroom next year, which is pretty exciting. And they just blend beautifully. They come out, if you do it dark enough, they come out almost looking like they're painted. All right, so notice the same side of each palm tree, I did that dark section. Now I have a little bit lighter brown. I'm gonna do the other side. And I'm just gonna blend it. I'm gonna overlap it and blend it together. Same thing, I'm doing those lines all the way down. See how it looks slightly darker? If you want to really make it more dramatic, you can even come back in and really darken that line right at the edge. and go back in just a little bit. Make it look like there's more of a shadow. See how it's starting to have some dimension? And if you want just a little bit, you can pull a couple of lines, not a lot, don't get carried away with this, but a couple of lines of the dark brown into it Make it look good. There, see how that's showing almost like a shattered area on the one side? That looks good. Okay, next for the coconuts. Now, in the original picture, the coconuts were green, but I'm just gonna make some light, really light brown. These are ripe coconuts when they're not ripe. I guess they're green. And then the palm leaves. For the palm leaves, I'm gonna do kind of the same idea that we did on the tree trunk. The top of the palm leaves, that curved area where the sun would be hitting it is gonna be a lighter green. Everywhere I have that curve. And this one, I again, I kind of made some a little too small. And then I'm gonna do dark green at the bottom and blend it in nicely there, so dark. I'm gonna do it sideways, it's a little bit easier for me to color. And then the table doesn't shake as badly. Dark green there. And a really pretty look to it already. Dark green on the bottom. I made this one too thin, so I'm gonna come back into it a little bit extra. And dark green there. I think it looks nice. It looks nice so far. You see how it looks like the light's just hitting the top? All right, so same thing on this one. Light green, I'll go kind of quick. Light green. And if you guys, if I'm going too fast for you, you can always pause it as we go along. Light green. And then back to the dark green. Blend it just a little bit. Just enough so that the colors overlap and blend together. Notice that when I'm coloring, I'm always turning my paper to make it easier. It's a good technique. Same thing when we're cutting. You're always kind of turning that paper in your hands. Good. I think it looks pretty good so far. All right, next I'm gonna do this sign. The sun's just gonna be a bright yellow. And again, these Prismacolors are so nice because when you do it nice and solid, it's so bright and beautiful. All right, and then for the sky, we're gonna blend. We're gonna do a yellow to an orange, well, a yellow to yellow orange to an orange. Let's do it that way. Okay, but first, I want to give myself kind of a line where I'm going to blend it. So, coming above the bushes, curving upward over the sun, and then going back down into the bushes like that. See, I just made a curve because that's where I'm going to start my orangey color. All right, I'm going to do yellow at the top. I'm 
going to do a section. If you want to, we have some yellow green right in those trees, so I'm going to color right over it. It's not going to hurt it, just for the yellow. I wouldn't do this with the orange. But with the yellow, it won't really mess it up. All right, just above that line. Then I'm going to move to my yellow orange. And I'm going to overlap them just a little bit. Blend those colors in right over that curve. I'm keeping that curve shape right over the sun. Going down just a little bit further. And blending it in. See, I have the yellow and the orange starting to blend and I went right under that curve that I drew. And then we're going to move to this reddish orange color. And I'm going to do that from the bottom up around the area where I made that curved line. It's harder for me to do the edges. My table's not quite as stable as I want it to be. Right around where I have that curve, blend it into the yellow orange. And I go through. Good. And I'm just going to continue that red orange color. I can pull it up into a little bit. All the way down into the sunset. I'm trying to avoid the tree much as I can. If you get a little bit, it's okay. There is some orange and brown to begin with. It's good. If you want to go back in, I'm going to actually go back in. Make it brighter. Overlap my yellow orange into it just a little bit. Make it kind of glowing. And if you really want it to blend, you can actually take a red and at the very bottom blends a little bit of that red to show that gradual change in darkening. It's pretty simple. All right, good. And I have my sky, that pretty blended sunset. For the bushes in the background, this time I'm gonna find a really dark green and just a regular green. The same idea, the top of the bushes. Nice and solid. I'm gonna get lighter at the bottom because I'm gonna give myself room to do the dark green on top of it. Same thing here. Good. If I wanna give myself a touch of light, whoops, I can actually add some yellow right at the top of the bushes. It brightens it up a little bit. I don't know if you can really see it on the video, but it kind of makes it look like the sun is just touching the top of those bushes a little bit. And then we use that dark green at the bottom. And that gradual change. So it's got that shadow at the bottom. All right, the water, it gets a little more complicated for the water. For the water, I'm gonna do some dark blue. You wanna kinda of show the shadow of these bushes. So, going from the bushes down, I'm just gonna make, and they're all this, in this case it has to be all horizontal lines coming out. And I'm matching kind of the shape going on. It gets wider at the end and smaller towards the middle of the brush. See how I made that shadowy area? So the same thing on the other side. It's short here 
thinner section here. And you get a little bit gradually wider. For the shadow of the bushes on this side. Next, I wanna bring this light blue into it. Now, if you're using oil pastel, you'll be able to use some white, but in this case, I'm not. So I just, I'm taking care to leave some little bit of white spot. I'm not overdoing it. I am overlapping the light blue into the dark blue. I need to get the edge of the paper. That's where I'm struggling a little bit. But it's okay to leave those white because that can be like those ripply areas of the water. And if you want to come back in, this wasn't on the original, but I kind of like how it looks. Notice how I'm making just these wave, I'm making these lines with the dark blue for the waves in the water. That's going to add our texture. They're going to get tinier as you go further back. This kind of makes up for the fact that we don't have those oil pastels to blend and make the white foamy areas. And that looks kind of pretty, adding that texture there. Okay, and then finally all that's left is that grassy hill area. So like the bushes and the tops of the trees, I'm gonna use these different shades of green to do it. I'm actually gonna start mostly with my really light lime green at the top. I'm going to use slightly darker green towards the middle. Overlapping a little bit, blending those colors together. And then a dark green at the bottom. that pretty hilly look to it. See how I did that blending? Good. All right, we have a beautiful sunset. If you wanna add some streaks of grass coming out in between the palm trees around them, make some nice little bit of texture You can add the same thing here. You can kind of add streaks if you want to throughout, just to give it a little more look. And we have our beautiful sunset. Thanks for following along with me. Hope you had fun.